the PM had barely landed in the lodge before he blasted off again. Jet Set Albo racking up photo ops all around the world, from aircraft carriers to extra cover. I am so honoured to stand alongside you both. The PM pulling off a difficult double act, shoring up security while repairing relations with China. He was on the international stage almost before he was on the domestic stage and that was a bit of a baptism by fire. He's exceeded people's expectations. It's always better to do that than to disappoint. So that's an A for effort on the international diplomacy front. Speaking of massive, massive emissions, Australia finally got a climate policy worthy of the name. And I think that's a big shift. We're not, we're not arguing if climate change is real anymore. We're all accepting it's real. And it's a question of how much action. That's the challenge. It's a political challenge to manage that. Not enough for some, but better than nothing. Let's call it a B. Maybe a B plus. But the record's more mixed on most Aussies' number one issue. The government's trying to walk a tightrope, easing cost of living pressures without feeding inflation while fending off attacks from both flanks. Five and a half million renters get absolutely nothing out of this budget. Temporary relief is targeted at Australians on welfare, but at the expense of the many, including Labor's working poor. The performance on cost of living has probably been what a lot of economists would expect the government to do. It's been restrained, it's been walking that line between giving people stimulus, but also not doing enough to push up inflation. But they're also acknowledging that a lot of people are in trouble. I think anyone living below the poverty line, again, would be disappointed and we're hoping for more help. All up, we'll call that a C. But maybe the biggest disappointment so far, the Indigenous voice to Parliament. To not put this to a vote. So it's... <laughs> to not put this to a vote is to concede defeat. Labor's key election pledge in serious strife after a failure to secure bipartisan support. A regrettable D. Which brings us to Dutton. As the PM tries to strike a more conciliatory tone, the opposition leaders are only too happy to keep the biff alive. Labor sees businesses and industry as instruments of the state. It wants to use the chains and whips of regulation and tax to control and cannibalise the private sector. Still, judging by Labor's wins in the Aston by-election, along with the Victoria and New South Wales state elections, voters seem to like what they've seen. I think anyone who was expecting a big change and to get things moving really quickly is probably disappointed. That is not what this government is going to do. This government is going to make incremental changes and try to bring as many people with it as that it can. Everything this government is doing is about the big picture and being in government for a long time. And I think that that's something that Albanese himself has spoken to, that that's part of his um, strategy, mm. which is to under-promise and to over-deliver. Mm -hmm. And we can see that whether it's paid parental leave or childcare subsidies, you can't say he hasn't done anything mm -hmm. um, and he's keeping with a lot of election promises. So I think most Australians feel like a bit of calm and maturity has been restored. And he's, he's going slowly, slowly, and he said that that's part of the yeah. strategy because he wants Labor to be in power for at least 10 years so they can mm -hmm. get some of these big kind of policies bedded in so they're not yeah. changed by the next government to yeah. come along. Um, it is an, it's an extended honeymoon period, though, isn't it? It well, just doesn't seem to be ending. The, the, exactly. The, the preferred Prime Minister um, is Albanese. Albanese 53 to Peter Dutton's 20. Well, this is the Ooh. thing, right? It's, tell, it's telling that they have confidence that they're going to be able to play such a long game because they don't have faith that the opposition is a really, really strong one at the moment. Mm. And I think that that's, mm. you know, you can't argue with it too much. And this incremental change that we're seeing, I think it's building incremental trust as yeah. well from maybe not typically Labor voters who are saying, OK, well, we'll just, we'll, we'll wait. We're coming along yeah. for the ride with you. And yeah, it's, been a, right. it's been a full year and there's been no rumours about an incident at Ingedine Mackers, you know? So, like... <laughs> 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 Telling as well.